You know what? I'm going to go and take a seat and I'm going to leave you in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the wonderful clause of Miss Tom Tab. Please give her a round of applause, Miss Tom Tab. <laughs> I have to do a little bit of adjusting. <laughs> hey, whose good idea was it to wear these headpieces? <laughs> <laughs> I just make the things, love. You don't have to wear them. Um, you do have to wear them. Well, this was the thing. This was the premise. You would you play for me? Would you play for me? Would you play for me, Miss Von Trapp? I don't want any of your music. I want your performance poetry, and you've got to wear a stupid hat. <laughs> so here we are. Can somebody give me a hand with this blasted thing? Because it's not staying, and I've done something. What have you done? I don't know. It's just good, don't you? <laughs> la la la. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> This always happens, I turn up, I behave like a complete prima donna. That's <laughs> my sister over there, wasn't she fantastic? <laughs> Is that a soldier name, Miss Funtrap? Yes, I'm ready! That's the one I was putting at my bum earlier, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder what the smell was. <laughs> modify myself for you. Take me as you find me. I will not suck up to your pretension, strive to attain your ideal of perfection. I will always find my own direction. I accept who I am. <laughs> and embrace my faults and limitations. Perfect physique. <laughs> closed walls, closed doors, closed minds are not my idea of a welcome. Mine are always open. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
no longer tired, but buzzing and wired. Sleep left and wrecked, packed like an espresso, hyper real and ready to go. Hit me up, Daddy A, this chick can't say no. She's already too long. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> well, I'm really rather enjoying myself this evening. I'm feeling quite at home. It's, it's a one time when my wardrobe actually looks quite normal. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and now I'm going to tell you a little ghost story. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Are we all sitting comfy and ready to listen? Or standing? Does anybody need a wee? I was running, tearing my crimson skirts on briars and thorns, my long black hair catching on branches that whipped me cruelly as I raced past. A pause. A breath. <gasps> Hiding in an old stone doorway where I listened intently, still sure I could hear the steady, unrelenting sound of black boots on frost behind me. I ran on through twisted forests, derelict yards, wasteland overgrown with mangled machinery, the bright neon of the city and the rush of noisy shoppers on a late winter evening. Still I ran on and on, certain that my pursuers were close behind me, feeling their hot breath caressing the nape of my neck. I, on my fear, the intoxicating scent of my blood as it pulsed violently so close beneath my pale flesh. And then I remember how I slowed. Last thing I remember. <laughs> Seeing my name cut deep into that stone. <laughs> deep as their nails in my tender skin. the thorny briars caught in my skirts and hair. And then I broke apart. Dissolving into nothing. Old petals, red and white, scattering into the wind.
bit dark, wasn't it? <laughs> Gift! Oh, I'm just creating debris everywhere I go. I'm gonna end now on a song. It's one I wrote for my husband. He's not here tonight. It's probably just as well. <laughs> Thank you, my name. Yeah. Yeah.